The Network Time Protocol NTP is a networking protocol for clock synchronization between computer systems over packet-switched, variable latency data networks. In operation since before 1985, NTP is one of the oldest Internet protocols in current use. NTP was designed by David L. Mills of the University of Delaware. NTP is intended to synchronize all participating computers to within a few milliseconds of Coordinated Universal Time UTC. It uses the intersection algorithm, a modified version of Marzullo's algorithm, to select accurate time servers and is designed to mitigate the effects of variable network latency. NTP can usually maintain time to within tens of milliseconds over the public Internet, and can achieve better than one millisecond accuracy in local area networks under ideal conditions. Asymmetric routes and network congestion can cause errors of 100 milliseconds or more. The protocol is usually described in terms of a client server model, but can as easily be used in peer to peer relationships where both peers consider the other to be a potential time source. Implementations send and receive timestamps using the User Datagram Protocol on port number 123. They can also use broadcasting or multicasting, where clients passively listen to time updates after an initial round-trip calibrating exchange. NTP supplies a warning of any impending leap-second adjustment, but no information about local time zones or daylight saving time is transmitted. The current protocol is version 4 NTPv4, which is a proposed standard as documented in RFC 5905. It is backward compatible with version 3, specified in RFC 1305. History In 1979, network time synchronization technology was used in what was possibly the first public demonstration of Internet services running over a transatlantic satellite network, at the National Computer Conference in New York. The technology was later described in the 1981 Internet Engineering Note IEN 173 and a public protocol was developed from it that was documented in RFC 778. The technology was first deployed in a local area network as part of the Hello Routing Protocol and implemented in the Fuzzball Router, an experimental operating system used in network prototyping, where it ran for many years. Other related network tools were available both then and now. They include the daytime and time protocols for recording the time of events, as well as the ICMP timestamp and IP timestamp option RFC 781. More complete synchronization systems, although lacking NTP's data analysis and clock disciplining algorithms, include the Unix daemon timed, which uses an election algorithm to appoint a server for all the clients, and the Digital Time Synchronization Service DTSS, which uses a hierarchy of servers similar to the NTP stratum model. In 1985, NTP version 0 NTP v0 was implemented in both Fuzzball and Unix, and the NTP packet header and round-trip delay and offset calculations, which have persisted into NTP v4, were documented in RFC 958. Despite the relatively slow computers and networks available at the time, accuracy of better than 100 milliseconds was usually obtained on Atlantic spanning links, with accuracy of tens of milliseconds on Ethernet networks. In 1988, a much more complete specification of the NTP v1 protocol, with associated algorithms, was published in RFC 1059. It drew on the experimental results and clock filter algorithm documented in RFC 956 and was the first version to describe the client server and peer to peer modes. In 1991, the NTP v1 architecture, protocol and algorithms were brought to the attention of a wider engineering community with the publication of an article by David L. Mills in the IEEE Transactions on Communications. In 1989, RFC 1119 was published defining NTP v2 by means of a state machine, with pseudocode to describe its operation. It introduced a management protocol and cryptographic authentication scheme which have both survived into NTP v4. The design of NTP v2 was criticized for lacking formal correctness principles by the DTSS community. Their alternative design included Marzullo's algorithm, a modified version of which was promptly added to NTP. The bulk of the algorithms from this era have also largely survived into NTP v4. In 1992, RFC 1305 defined NTP v3. 
The RFC included an analysis of all sources of error, from the reference clock down to the final client, which enabled the calculation of a metric that helps choose the best server where several candidates appear to disagree. Broadcast mode was introduced. In subsequent years, as new features were added and algorithm improvements were made, it became apparent that a new protocol version was required. In 2010, RFC 5905 was published containing a proposed specification for NTPv4. The protocol has significantly moved on since then, and as of 2014, an updated RFC has yet to be published. Following the retirement of Mills from the University of Delaware, the reference implementation is currently maintained as an open source project led by Harlan Sten. Topic. Clock strata NTP uses a hierarchical, semi-layered system of time sources. Each level of this hierarchy is termed a stratum and is assigned a number starting with zero for the reference clock at the top. A server synchronized to a stratum N server runs at stratum N plus 1. The number represents the distance from the reference clock and is used to prevent cyclical dependencies in the hierarchy. Stratum is not always an indication of quality or reliability, it is common to find stratum 3 time sources that are higher quality than other stratum 2 time sources. A brief description of strata 0, 1, 2 and 3 is provided below. Stratum 0 These are high-precision timekeeping devices such as atomic clocks, GPS or other radio clocks. They generate a very accurate pulse per second signal that triggers an interrupt and timestamp on a connected computer. Stratum 0 devices are also known as reference clocks. Stratum 1 These are computers whose system time is synchronized to within a few microseconds of their attached Stratum 0 devices. Stratum 1 servers may peer with other Stratum 1 servers for sanity check and backup. They are also referred to as primary time servers. Stratum 2 these are computers that are synchronized over a network to Stratum 1 servers. Often a Stratum 2 computer will query several Stratum 1 servers. Stratum 2 computers may also peer with other Stratum 2 computers to provide more stable and robust time for all devices in the peer group. Stratum 3 These are computers that are synchronized to Stratum 2 servers. They employ the same algorithms for peering and data sampling as Stratum 2, and can themselves act as servers for Stratum 4 computers, and so on. The upper limit for Stratum is 15. Stratum 16 is used to indicate that a device is unsynchronized. The NTP algorithms on each computer interact to construct a Bellman Ford shortest path spanning tree, to minimize the accumulated round trip delay to the Stratum 1 servers for all the clients. Timestamps The 64-bit timestamps used by NTP consist of a 32-bit part for seconds and a 32-bit part for fractional second, giving a time scale that rolls over every 232 seconds 136 years and a theoretical resolution of 2 minus 32 seconds 233 picoseconds. NTP uses an epoch of January 1, 1900 so the first rollover will be on February 7, 2036. NTP v4 introduces a 128-bit date format, 64 bits for the second and 64 bits for the fractional second. The most significant 32 bits of this format is the error number which resolves rollover ambiguity in most cases. According to Mills, the 64-bit value for the fraction is enough to resolve the amount of time it takes a photon to pass an electron at the speed of light. The 64-bit second value is enough to provide unambiguous time representation until the universe goes dim. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Clock synchronization algorithm. A typical NTP client will regularly pull one or more NTP servers. To synchronize its clock, the client must compute its time offset and round trip delay. Time offset theta is defined by theta equals t one minus t zero plus t two minus t 3 2 
Display style theta equals t underscore one t underscore zero plus t underscore two t underscore three over two, and the round trip delay delta by delta equals t three minus t zero minus t two minus t one Display style delta equals t underscore three t underscore zero t underscore two t underscore one, where t zero is the client's timestamp of the request packet transmission, t one is the server's timestamp of the request packet reception, t two is the server's timestamp of the response packet transmission, and t three is the client's timestamp of the response packet reception the values for theta and delta are passed through filters and subjected to statistical analysis outliers are discarded and an estimate of time offset is derived from the best three remaining candidates the clock frequency is then adjusted to reduce the offset gradually creating a feedback loop accurate synchronization is achieved when both the incoming and outgoing routes between the client and the server have symmetrical nominal delay if the routes do not have a common nominal delay, there will be a systematic bias of half the difference between the forward and backward travel times. <laughs> <laughs> Software implementations Reference <laughs> 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 implementation <laughs> 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 The NTP reference implementation, along with the protocol, has been continuously developed for over 20 years. Backwards compatibility has been maintained as new features have been added. It contains several sensitive algorithms, especially to discipline the clock, that can misbehave when synchronized to servers that use different algorithms. The software has been ported to almost every computing platform, including personal computers. It runs as a daemon called NTPD under Unix or as a service under Windows. Reference clocks are supported and their offsets are filtered and analyzed in the same way as remote servers, although they are usually pulled more frequently. The table shows common time reference identifiers refid codes. Other refid codes can be defined and encountered. Topic. SNTP. A less complex implementation of NTP, using the same protocol but without requiring the storage of state over extended periods of time, is known as the Simple Network Time Protocol SNTP. It is used in some embedded devices and in applications where full NTP capability is not required. <laughs> Windows Time Service All Microsoft Windows versions since Windows 2000 include the Windows Time Service, W32 Time, which has the ability to synchronize the computer clock to an NTP server. The W32 Time Service was originally implemented for the purpose of the Kerberos version 5 authentication protocol, which required time to be within 5 minutes of the correct value to prevent replay attacks. The version in Windows 2000 and Windows XP only implements SNTP, and violates several aspects of the NTP version 3 standard. Beginning with Windows Server 2003 and Windows Vista, a compliant implementation of full NTP is included. Microsoft says that the W32 time service cannot reliably maintain sync time to the range of 1 to 2 seconds. If higher accuracy is desired, Microsoft recommends using a different NTP implementation. Windows Server 2016 now supports 1 millisecond time accuracy under certain operating conditions. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Open NTPD. In 2004, Henning Brouwer presented Open NTPD, an NTP implementation with a focus on security and encompassing a privilege-separated design. Whilst it is aimed more closely at the simpler generic needs of OpenBSD users, it also includes some protocol security improvements whilst still being compatible with existing NTP servers. It was originally designed for OpenBSD but has a portable version available and that has been made available as a package in Linux package repositories.
Topic: End timed. A new NTP client, Ntimed, was started by Poole Henning Camp in 2014. The new implementation is sponsored by the Linux Foundation as a replacement for the reference implementation, as it was determined to be easier to write a new implementation from scratch than to fix the existing issues with the large existing code base. As of June 2015, no official release was done yet, but Ntimed can synchronize clocks reliably. Ntimed works under Debian and FreeBSD, but remains to be ported to Windows and Mac OS. Topic: NTPSEC. NTPSEC is a fork of the reference implementation that has been systematically security hardened. The fork point was in June 2015 and was in response to a rash of compromises in 2014. As of 2017, the software is in beta testing. Between removal of unsafe features, removal of support for obsolete hardware, and removal of support for obsolete Unix variants, NTPSEC has been able to pare away 60% of the original code base, making the remainder more auditable. Topic: <laughs> Crony Crony comes by default in Red Hat distributions and is available in the Ubuntu repositories. Crony is aimed at ordinary computers, which are unstable, go into sleep mode or have intermittent connection to the Internet. Crony is also designed for virtual machines, a much more unstable environment. It is characterized by low resource consumption cost and supports PTP as well as NTP. It has two main components, Cronid, a daemon that is executed when the computer starts, and Chronic, a command line interface to the user for its configuration. It has been evaluated as very safe and with just a few incidents, its advantage is the versatility of its code, written from scratch to avoid the complexity of code. Crony is written under New General Public License version 2, was created by Richard Kernow in 1997 with others a long time and is currently maintained by Miroslav Lichver, development supported by Red Hat Software. <laughs> Leap seconds On the day of a leap second event, NTPD receives notification from either a configuration file, an attached reference clock, or a remote server. Because of the requirement that time must appear to be monotonically increasing, a leap second is inserted with the sequence 23 hours 59 minutes and 59 seconds, 2359, 60, 0 hours 0 minutes and 0 seconds. Although the clock is actually halted during the event, any processes that query the system time cause it to increase by a tiny amount, preserving the order of events. If a negative leap second should ever become necessary, it would be deleted with the sequence 23 hours 59 minutes and 58 seconds, 0 hours 0 minutes and 0 seconds, skipping 23 hours 59 minutes and 59 seconds. Topic security concerns Several security concerns arose in late 2014. Previously, researchers became aware that NTP servers can be susceptible to man-in-the-middle attacks unless packets are cryptographically signed for authentication. The computational overhead involved can make this impractical on busy servers, particularly during denial-of-service attacks. NTP message spoofing can be used to move clocks on client computers and allow a number of attacks based on bypassing of cryptographic key expiration. Some of the services affected by fake NTP messages identified are TLS, DNS SEC, various caching schemes such as DNS cache, BGP, Bitcoin and a number of persistent login schemes. Only a few other security problems have been identified in the reference implementation of the NTP codebase in its 25 plus year history, but the ones that have appeared recently are cause for significant concern. The protocol has been undergoing revision and review over its entire history. As of January 2011, there are no security revisions in the NTP specification and no reports at CERT. The current codebase for the reference implementation has been undergoing security audits from several sources for several years, and there are no known high-risk vulnerabilities in the current released software. NTP has been used in distributed denial-of-service attacks. A small query is sent to an NTP server with the return address spoofed to be the target address. 
Similar to the DNS amplification attack, the server responds with a much larger reply that allows an attacker to substantially increase the amount of data being sent to the target. To avoid participating in an attack, servers can be configured to ignore external queries, or they can be upgraded to version 4.2.7p26 or later. A stack based buffer overflow exploit was discovered and a patch is available as of December 19, 2014. This includes all NTP version 4 releases before version 4.2.8. Apple was concerned enough that it used its auto update capability for the first time, though only for recent versions of macOS. In the case of version 10.6.8 there are manual fixes for the server version, and normal client users can just turn off automatic time updating in system preferences for date and time. Researchers believe that the protocol design is excellent and that the flaws are appearing in implementations of the protocol. Some errors are basic, such as a missing return statement in a routine, that can lead to unlimited access to systems that are running some versions of NTP in the root daemon. Systems that do not use the root daemon, such as BSD, are not subject to this flaw. See also Allen Variants Clock Network International Atomic Time IRIG Timecode NIST NITS NTP Pool NTP Server Misuse and Abuse NTP Date Open NTPD Precision Time Protocol IEEE 1588 PTP Notes <laughs>